you know, the conversation has, uh, you know, that we've had this evening uh, centered on uh, uh, the incident in Olu, in Imo State, and vis-a-vis -vis the crisis in the Southwest. Now, uh, Dr. Sema Madi here, uh, my final question to you will be, now, what will be your advice to the Imo State government and the federal government of Nigeria regarding what we have seen happen in Olu? Okay, as a, as a political activist and also as a, a, a protective politician, I would tell the governor, you see, um, the government, the, govern, govern, go, the governors in South should learn to engage the so-called militants, whoever they are. You can't govern a state effectively if you do not, you can't engage a very strong movement, a growing movement like what you see on ground in the Southeast. You just have to find a back channel of dealing with them because it can create the enable environment for any form of development if you can't find a back channel to deal with them, talk to the leaders, and be able to de escalate. So I think that's what's missing in the South. Is the, the, the demonization of these groups, whatever they are, and the non engagement creates a crisis for governance. You just have to find a way. To, I, I know that the policy, the, the objectives might be might be contradictory to each other. They may have different views, but there must be a way you can skillfully, diplomatically. That's what you're going to lead. You cannot have a significant number, a significant, a significant youth, you know, totally torn against government, totally not co concerned about what they are doing, but have no confidence what they're doing. So that lack of loss of confidence is the major driver of of, of security. If a government is discredited as most of them are discredited. And they're not making any effort to win back their credits, to, 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 to have, all like the Southwest, you see, most of the governments in the Southwest are also largely sellouts, like those in the Southwest maybe. But the difference is that they have a pedigree, they have a back channel, they have capacity to engage some of these so-called militants. So they can have meetings, they can de-escalate easily, they can find a common ground, but our, our people have no common ground. So either a shootout, you know, because you can't deal with anybody, you shoot out. That's wrong. So I would say that the, for the state government, they should learn how to govern the state appropriately. They should be able to have early warning signals of crisis, and they should deal with local intelligence and stop playing Abuja politics. Get down to deal with their people, understand them, build build quality network and social capital with the people they are governing, so they can trust their judgment when they face existential crisis. The people don't have confidence in the state governments because they are so far removed from the things that touch the people. And over the federal government, I have argued severally that Nigeria State is a weak state. So they resort to violence, to, to monopoly of violence, may not work. We should have what I call an argumentative state, a state that argues, a state that, that talks, a state that, that wins heart and soul, a state that is the business of you know, challenging its critics and trying to win people it would not say that either they bribe you or they shut you down. Uh, Nigeria is becoming largely ungoverned. And so the pretense that because we're a sovereign state, we have a monopoly of violence, monopoly of power, we can shut anybody down. We don't need to engage in good faith, we don't need to listen to people's concern. We don't need to try our best to settle matter equitably. We don't need to do justice to every person and therefore create legitimacy. It's not true. It's, it's old political science. The new political science is that the state, a government, a state will jostle for legitimacy with no state actors. And so the state must be both powerful, must be effective in producing social goods, and must be persuasive, argumentative, so, so that the state can win the heart of most of its citizens. And therefore, citizens themselves will be the one that protects the state. Today in Nigeria, the state is largely illegitimate, don't have credibility, ineffective, and not engage with the people. And that is not the recipe for an effective and secure state. Thank you very much. That's a fine place to leave it. Ah, la, 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 la.